hi it's the Sarah here and welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be talking about tips for a better nighttime routine and I'll just be kind of talking through my nighttime routine as well and mine is by no means perfect at, at, at all um, but I do know some ways to make it better and whenever I do do all of these things I do feel like I've, I just feel really good um, so I just wanted to share with you some of my findings and I've also linked an article down below that I have referenced as well to help me make this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what time you're gonna go to bed, what time you're gonna wake up, and how long you need to get ready for bed. So I have it set that I need 45 minutes to wind down for bed. So my phone on the sleep app will notify me of that. And um, I have it set that I want a goal of seven hours of sleep, but I actually am getting close to eight if I actually follow those times I have set. And then just be sure to set your alarms. So then after that, um, it is just time to create a to-do list for tomorrow. Just anything you couldn't get done today, add to tomorrow so that everything is ready to go and you don't go to bed feeling unfinished. The next thing to do is to just prep anything for the next day that you can. Um, so prepping your breakfast, maybe getting your lunch together, packing your gym bag, tidying up your apartment, your home, whatever. Um, just do the things that you need to do to feel ready for the next day and to save yourself some time in the morning. I also posted a morning routine video and tips for a better morning routine. So if you would like to watch that video, I will have that link up above and I will also put it in the description box below. So the next thing to do is just to get your mind ready for night, turn off your lights and just kind of start calming your mind, um, prep anything that you need to prep for your bedroom, such as like I have our humidifier, I prepped our waters, um, anything that you need to do. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button down below, please do so now and please hit subscribe down below as well. It really does help me, helps me to grow. It helps the YouTube algorithm to share my videos with more people. Thank you. The next thing to do is be sure to turn down your AC or your heat. In the summer, we keep ours at about 69 when we sleep and the winter, we keep it at about 67. Um, so now I'm just getting my diffuser ready. It's just something that I really like to do. It's kind of romanticizing my nighttime routine. I just like to have this going or to light some candles, maybe have my tea, anything like that to really help me feel relaxed and just kind of happy. Um, I also washed our comforter this day, so I just was getting that on the bed. Um, it's kind of just part of prepping my bedroom for bedtime. Then it's time to do your hygiene rituals. So for some people, this is showering at night and then washing your face, taking off makeup. Maybe it's taking a bath, obviously brushing your teeth, all those types of things. I usually do shower at night, brush my teeth, mouthwash, do my skincare, all the good things that I feel like I need to be doing, but whatever it is that you need to do to take care of your hygiene at night, make sure to add that in right before bed. Also, since I usually shower right before bed, I like to turn off the light in the bathroom and just have the light that's in the bedroom kind of shining in. It helps me to feel a bit more relaxed. Then I'll turn on the fan in our bedroom and just to help with the sound, we also like the movement of air. And tonight I decided I'm gonna read my devotion and I wanted to do some stretching before bed as well. I don't do this every night, but basically it's just important to do something to distract yourself from electronics, like reading a book, stretching, coloring, whatever it is. Um, and then also I want to do something to care for my mind. And for me, I like to listen to calming music or really I like to listen to ASMR. So these are some of the people I like to listen to. I like to listen to Sarah Lavender and I like to listen to GB ASMR. They are just wonderful and definitely puts me to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching and sleep well.